Yo guys, it's Willow here. Um, and here is part four of Jack and Daxter playthrough, I think. So, yeah, we haven't done this for in a while. It's... We've not really got much excuse for that, to be honest. Um, kind of been a bit busy, but... We'll try and be a lot more active now. Starting with getting most of this finished. Uh, Pablo should be getting up... Um, is Spyro playthrough, and I'm sorry I say mmm so much. But yeah, uh, if you forgot the last part of this playthrough, we had just finished Sandover, no we hadn't, Sentinel Beach. Before that we just finished the jungle, and here we are at Misty Island. This is not a live commentary as usual, because um, it takes a lot longer and we really want to get videos out because we've spent so much time just wasting not getting any out. But yeah, we're going to start off by obviously collecting some power cells. Uh, that was obviously pure skill. So we're going to go and uh, kill, not kill, uh, catch the muse first. And it can be kind of awkward really. But yeah, like I said, this is this is not live commentary. This is post commentary, and um, how I said that the spider caves will be the my most rage-inducing part. I feel I will still get the same amount of rage from a certain part coming because it was so bad. You will see that when it happens. And there is an epic fail. I don't even know why I felt it necessary to kill that guy. And then fail more almost. Yeah, this this area used to give me a lot of trouble. Um, I know a few speed tricks for it, which I will not show in this video, but... It's pretty smooth, apart from well, it's most of it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, pick up the scout fly, and we'll try and catch the muse quite early. Which, we've already pretty much failed by wasting about a minute or two on it. Well, there's not really much we can do with that. We're actually completely wasting time now. That is because this muse actually hates me. But, we got it. And the point of catching that muse is to take it back to Sandover Village and give it to a guy. Because it would be much quicker to do Sandover Village last, which we are going to do. Ah, uh, you have not seen that yet. So, yeah, we're just about to uh, go into the next part of this area. The museless part. Yeah, the pit below is right here. It's got... It just kills you. It is literally that simple. So, we don't really want to fall here at all. It is not helpful in the slightest. And there's me failing to catch a scout fly. But yeah, this, th these next few parts may have quite boring commentary, I'll be honest, because I'm not really playing the game, like I said, so I don't really think I'll be captured in the moment. Just kill him before we go and get the next uh, power cell. Actually, that may be the first power cell of the area we're about to go and get. But first of all, we need to stock up on some Luiko. Which, if I remember right, we only need two bits of. 
and even with all that failing, we still made it with time to spare. And this is the first power cell of the area. Most of these all come almost pretty much next to each other. Um, in this game there is actually a way to skip the next bit, other than that death there. Um, yeah, there's a bit to skip the next bit, and you don't have to actually do it at all, but we're not going to do that because this is um, just a playthrough. Not trying to complete it as fast as possible, and if you've really done there is a uh, sand of a village last. Get some blue Remember ego to open the door. We were here? Yeah, this is the bit you can skip. Um, it involves doing random jumps on the surroundings. It's a bit insane really, so I may show you that later on. Hey now, you know. Just post if you really want to see it. But yeah, this bit used to pose a lot of trouble for me. I was terrible at the game. I still pretty much am. But yeah, we've we we cleared that bit out quite easily. No trouble really. Let's keep you out of the units, okay? Let's keep but yeah, this is the area where uh, the entire game pretty much began. Not really much else to say about that though. There is another bit we can actually do here which progresses this level much faster but I'm not very adept in it so yeah, this is the only area though which has like such exploits really. I suppose you could possibly call them glitches. Got some precursor orbs. Random lurkers, get some, get a scout fly. Stating the obvious. This is my boring voice. Yeah, these um, these precursor orbs, they have eluded me many times, and uh, did not really want that to happen again. Of course. This area is home to quite a lot of rage. Or at least it has been. Not really sure what I was looking for there. Might have been an odd number of precursor orbs or something. If I'm not mistaken, this area does take longer than 15 minutes. Therefore, not adhering to my trying to get one level done each 15 minute segment. So I apologise in advance for that. But there is a the power cell. Yeah, these can be fairly annoying as well, actually. As you can see there, I died. At least Daxter didn't die. You know, the uh, non-playable character. Mm. I don't think that really happens 
this another time. In fact, I can't remember if I even die at all. I may do. Do I? I don't think so. Anyway. Yeah, this this area isn't really that difficult to do. This game's quite damn easy to do once you know exactly what you're doing. Me, of course, did not fully know what I was doing. That may be from past experience of missing everything. And then I randomly took ages to pick up a power cell. Seems good. So look, this cannon up and um, shoot some crates. Eventually. Did I get all of these birth packs? I don't remember. Oh, I did. Still went and took a second one though. Yeah, hold on. rolling objects do move faster than a running man downhill. So, you have to be careful there. There's a dark eco box here which I'll most likely not hit. Never mind. Um, are there any previous rubble there? I don't think so. So yeah, this is technically the last real bit of the game. Can be a bit annoying sometimes. I'm trying to remember if it was this time. Ah, let's watch anyway. Off from that way. That kind of hinders us a bit actually, I think, because I don't think we make that jump now fought as much. But we can get this pla these precursor orbs. Somehow we survived that. Will we miss any this time? No. Yeah, so I tend to sometimes take about three minutes trying to do this bit because I fail at jumping. Will I get this first time? Ah, oh, I missed a previous rob. <sighs> oh well. Let's go back and get it. As I said, I tend to take about three minutes on this bit because I fail. <laughs> 490. I have no idea how I even dodge that. Ah, there we go. Um, you all probably just noticed, um, the screen we use to play the games at the moment is quite dark. I will say that right now. And uh, as a result, you probably just saw about three precursor orbs being missed in an insanely obvious place. What that probably means, if I remember correctly, is that we have to go back for them. But I forgot exactly where they all were. I'm going to pretty much end the video after we've got the precursor off after this power cell we'll probably end up spending another five minutes on Misty Island sorry alright then see you guys